Hello, welcome back. You have probably heard about the golden ratio or the Fibonacci spiral. Let's see how we can draw them using Affinity Designer or Affinity Photo. I will start with the golden ratio. The golden ratio value is as shown on the screen 1.618. This is how the golden ratio spiral looks like. I'm using a tool called Goldie, which allows me to show the spiral on my screen. Anyway, it is time to create the spiral ourselves. Let's start by drawing a rectangle. I will first set my outline thickness and then put a rectangle on the canvas. To make sure it has a golden ratio, I will put the width to 1618 pixels and the height to 1000 pixels. This will ensure we have a rectangle with a golden ratio. I will enable my golden ratio tool again and position the rectangle within the spiral. So we can compare later when we're done. So the idea is to divide the rectangle with a square and go counterclockwise and keep dividing it. By holding the shift key while drawing a rectangle it will be constrained as a square. Once I have my first square, instead of drawing it each time, I will duplicate it. After the duplicate, I will resize and reposition it following the counterclockwise direction. Once we have done this a couple of times, we have our golden ratio grid. It is time to work on the spiral. The spiral is a sum of circle quadrants fitting in the squares. Let's start by creating the first circle quadrant. I will draw a circle for the largest square. By holding the command key while drawing the circle, Affinity will draw the circle from the middle. Also keeping the shift key pressed will ensure you are creating a perfect circle. With the help of snapping in Affinity, we can easily draw the circle. Before continuing, let me increase the stroke width so we can see it better. Now, I don't need the whole circle, just the right top quadrant. So I will convert it to a pie, which will allow me to select a starting and ending angle. Perfect, I have the quadrant I need. Next step is to convert this to a curve. An easy way to do this is to right click to open the context menu and selecting convert to curve. With the node tool I can remove the first node I don't need. For the second node I need to make sure I break it apart so I can remove it. Just make sure you select the node highlighted in red as this is the ending node. Excellent, we have our quadrant. This was the heavy work. From now on, you will be surprised how easy it will be to create the golden ratio. Let's duplicate the quadrant and position it to the next square on the top left. And here is where the magic of affinity comes into play. If I duplicate it again, the power duplicate function of affinity will take care of the rest. If I keep duplicating, the golden ratio spiral is constructed. Pretty cool, isn't it? Let's check with my tool. A perfect match. Let's move to the Fibonacci spiral. But first, let's group the golden ratio spiral so we know why we have all these curves. The Fibonacci spiral starts with two squares. In order to make sure I will have the same size as the golden spiral, I will use the golden spiral as a base. I want the starting square to be the same size as this quadrant. For clarity, I'm also going to use a different stroke color. Okay, I think this is about right. We need to duplicate it and put next to it. This is our starting point for the Fibonacci spiral. Next, I will duplicate the square and resize it twice the size. After I position it, I can now duplicate it. 
The power duplicate did its job, but not the way we want. So I will reposition it and resize it so it fits with the other squares. Let's keep repeating until we have the canvas full of squares. Perfect. Time for the spiral itself. But let's group the boxes first. The Fibonacci spiral starts with a half circle fitting the two starting rectangles. Let's draw the circle and give it a different stroke color and width. Using the same method I showed with the golden ratio circles, let me remove a half of the circle. Time to add a circle quadrant which will fit in the next square. Same steps here, we just want a quadrant. Once we have our quadrant, we just duplicate it and resize it so it fits the next square until we get the Fibonacci spiral we are looking for. Pretty awesome. Let's compare the Fibonacci spiral with the golden ratio spiral. They are not exactly the same, but the differences are minimal. And the longer the spirals get, the less the differences will be. Well, this was pretty fun to create. I hope you liked this video and thanks again for watching. Fibonacci, 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 Fibonacci.